needs to, if he feels pressured, he can Shadow Dance. Shadow Fiend can build into a Yule Scepter. All five heroes from Balkan Bears are capable of controlling players that always protects his mid. Like, he goes beyond the call of all way, bottom line. That should be first blood right there. The spin damage from Denny is more than enough. The Batrider was just caught out a little bit too fast, and Ven scored. The Batrider was dodging. The Slark is a pretty decent counter, though. He is looking for bottom. We said that, or I said at least, that I would like to see them try to kill him. And he's out of mana, actually, right now, and he doesn't have his ultimate. This could be dangerous. Oh, what just came in? They get, he actually got given a clarity right then, and they jump. So they've got him. He has one charges. It's not enough to keep him alive. He does oh, get into the spin, so but he's already been brought down. Now the Spirit Breaker the Voss on Vanscore. Triple Sun coming out with that spike, but it's still not enough to save the rest of his team. The assassination will be killing off the Slark right now from the other side of the trees. With the Shrapnel down as well, they see Okamajai in the tree line. He's not getting out of this one. Fidget up, locked in the corner, and uh, burnt to death. Yeah, and that was probably okay for BBC. He does finish off with Scotty. It, I definitely think they should maybe try to... Radiance bottom tower I said definitely maybe. Attack. They should they should defend Radiant this tier 2 tower. It's actually fortified. going down for nothing. The charge is coming on the SF. I don't think Ooh, you let them back out. They're jumping out to fight. Pick oh, up already from the Rubik. Was the end, ending of going to steal? Yeah, she stole Nether Strike and doesn't want to give it away. Because now the charge will also come in. The Yule set forever on top of the Spirit Breaker. The Slark will pound him, but he's already started the Shadow Dance. The bottom tower's been denied by the Sniper. It's gold like It's a decent Echo Slam, but the damage is really negligible compared to what BBC is at God. Danny now into that into that plate, into that uh, Omni Slash, but he can't finish the kill. At least there's the Bash on top of Miracle, but the charge back in again by Yapsaw. Buying him some space. They've lost the Shadow Fiend, but they've taken four of Na'Vi. And they're looking for the fifth. They may even actually catch out the sixth player of Na'Vi. The Orb of Venom, I believe? Well, it says he's using the Courier, but he doesn't have either of the Ultimate Orbs or anything. Well, he's got his BKB. That's all he really needs anyways. Oh, wait, Navi or Five Man Scope? Yeah, they're gonna find Itzy. Gonna... Is it the chicken? Is it's, the chicken with this? Is, I... Oh, no. Oh. They're gonna kill it anyway. So they say it's worth it, and they jumped in. They found Levi, so it really becomes worth it now. You've killed the Courier. And you kill off the Ogre. As long as you don't lose anything else, the Batra is trying to make him lose something. Blinks in, he goes for the lasso. Well, was managed to control good. Danny before he gets the ulti off. The Echo Sniper Goblin trying to help out. The Amstor, wrong thing to steal. But either way, it's a 2 for 1 trade off. There's your Echo Slam down. But uh, what else is really left? Miracles is getting bumped back and back and back. Yuba doing some serious work after they've lost their major source of damage, which is Dendi. But this time around, Sniper actually becomes their major source of damage. Picking up a triple, triple kill here for Travka. And BBC's all pushing up the daisies. I was going to try and get the last hit. Ah, yeah, and Vanscore, I mean, he does survive. He's had a lot of impact this game. He's only died once. Really good baits by him. I want to say baits. Um, he's almost level 16, actually, is the most surprising thing about this game. Like, he's really leveled for support. Oh, they actually find the Earthshaker in the jungle. Whatever, space created. I think they found someone else. It's the Slark. Denny wants a way up. But he's not going to jump. But Aegis is immortal there for the Juggernaut. And yeah, sorry, Earthshaker was caught inside that die jungle. <laughs> he was there on a warding mission. Aggressive ward on top of the cliff side. Oh, hello, Slark. The charge is coming in, so they had a little bit of vision. Actually knocked the Batrider back, and he's the one who coughed most of the Omni Slash. And now the Slark, Nether Strike, the BKB is not going to save him. He's stuck up on the cliff of Vanscore, following him to the ends of the earth. Then he as well, he blinks up to spin him to death. And 65 seconds on the sideline. They four staff down. But it's they, a good smoke too. No, they smoked on top of the ward. I think Dendi is being used as bait right now. It's the flank that's coming up from the Slark. He'll come directly behind Na'Vi. And more than likely, he's here for the sniper. Blink in by Vanscore. Found the Hex. Looking for the stun. Well off target. In fact, the Fissure as well as that, that Earth Spike ran okay, parallel. And Okamajai was the one who got taken out by the Omni Slash. <laughs> he definitely didn't need Omni Slash for that. Okay, Dendi just... Spins in a certain the time. This is so clowny looking. It works though. Until oh, Vanscore. The fidget's off target, so Vanscore will be dragged inside the base. The Gemma True sights on the ground at the moment. On the other side, the fidget by Gold Black. Good Echo Slam, but is the damage enough? Miracle, he gets bashed. He just wants to get the ulti off, but then he's right behind him. Too much damage. The SF's down for the count. The Juggernaut Aegis will be expiring here. As uh, Trav Travka. Was trying to get those last little bit of damage in on uh, Slark to kill him off. But Dandy, they take care of the tier 3 tower in mid. Now they can take care of the melee racks. And BBC can't contest this just yet. The Slark might be able to. 
And uh, Goldblade's trying to keep Dyer's the Bat Rider out. He's got no last suit. The problem is the Slark, and he's going to be hunting for Goldblade. Good Fissure. They find the Sniper. Good Telekinesis is even better. All of that coming out from Yapsaw. And Blink Dagger off cooldown. Three seconds time. He can blink and yields up Goldblack. Ah, uh, Goldblack too quick. I said the Fissure from the... Oh, uh, Ruby's Fissure's back off cooldown. Oh, he got him! Locked I him. think that's death. That's the gem too. This is so huge for BBC. Alright, Rubik, this is your job. <laughs> I think BBC are gonna still fight from inside their base. They're not gonna loop in from behind. They're just putting down the, the, the wars beforehand so they can at least see, see what's fail. going on. Uh, they... Vanscore, do what are you doing there, man? Uh, he only had lost Drain with the Bat Rider. Oh, that's a big problem. He got fissured by Gold like the second he jumped in. These ult is down too, though. If... Yep. If they're ever gonna look for a fight, this would be it, but everyone's getting picked off one by one right now. Well, Levi, just being bounced back. Denny's got no ulti, as he said, but uh, what's on? Only Blade Fury stolen. Slark's gonna jump himself in, but Denny's happy with this because he wants to battle off. There's your Blink last two off the Batrider as well. Back, Vance got with a starting off hex. He needs mana. He is 50 short of having a finger of death, and now he's short of actually getting up because he's dead. And Trav oh. Travka. More space, uh, blink away to safety. That was uh, the yours at the from himself. Well. I think this could be him down. Oh, that's problematic. Because Bat Rider can't do anything against this, and they can see him. They can see him. Assassination. Then he's gonna blink up to ensure he can get enough damage in. That was his buyback down too. I think this is gonna mean two sets of racks for BBC. It should be. Wow. Den Dendy speed on this is nice and quick, and the creep wave is in through the top. This is the reason why they can do this. Is there any unit, other unit there? It looked like the one. <laughs> I don't... Maybe he doesn't seal the bash itself. Like I said, I'm really bad about making random mechanics. So, so, someone tweet me a Toby one Dota. We have a question. We have a quest. It probably should though, because it, it's like if you steal the Requiem of Souls. You, you get, get the, the max amount of Souls. Money. Yeah, and the same thing exists with... Uh, what is that hero called? I can't even remember. With the clips, right? Uh, you might have to yeah. wait. Smoke, smoke. They're all jumping in. And look how quick Denny is in there. Yeah, Jumps right in, but he needs the ulti, but God like will buy him the time for it. The Echo Slam does the work. The Omni Slash ripping apart BBC. They've got to have to buy back on the S if they want any chance of winning this fight. But they've already lost too much, and they've got the bash over on the Slark. He can't get away. The Aegis Immortal will pop. The SF is considering the blink back in again, and he's got fans score. You'll set the sim up. There is the hex still over on the slide because the charge comes in from Yupa. They're basically playing ping pong right now, bouncing across the board. But the rest of Navi want to back the hell out of this one. I don't think they'll be allowed to though. Denny is being chased down by the Slark. He's going to pounce on top of Denny, and Denny just tries to man mode this. The Charger right. keeping the vision. There's no Shadow Dance, so they've got the perfect vision of the Slark. Just keep going. He can't Shadow Blade. Now the Charger actually changes over the Shadow Fiend. He'll yield center himself up defensively. Look for the blink. Not going to happen. Double kill for Dendi, and that might just be the GG push right now from Na'Vi. In some ways, I feel like the Slark made the right move by continuing the push, trying to get aggressive, but at the same time, if you don't have your ultimate, uh, there's absolutely no no Dyer's chance there. Vance Force has a bunch of stuff that I don't understand, but I Dyer's have to imagine back. that's GG at this point. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it was hopped up, hopped up, hopped up. Yeah, that was pretty much how that fight went. It was just very chaotic back and forth. Yuba has had so much influence in this game, I feel. Like, I, maybe it's just a Spirit Breaker meta. Like, he really I, I, think, I think he did, yeah, he did his job because he kept the SF back. And he charged in to actually kill himself multiple times just to ensure the SF had nothing. Uh, okay, this game is GG. They've lost too many. The call comes out from, from Levi, so Na'Vi, after what looked like a bit of a rocky start in the drafting phase, uh, and I almost want to say the early game, is uh, coming up with a one-game uh, victory here in the, first best of, in the first game of the best of three. Whew. Yeah, really good play by Na'Vi to kind of cement their lead in the mid-game. I honestly feel like BBC made a few mistakes though. Like they played pretty well, but I think what they did was a little bit too predictable. Uh, going for 